Hey guys, this is me once again, and I'm finally back for the latest Indiana Jones figure review of today. So, I'm going to be taking a look at the Indiana Jones Last Crusade variant of Indiana Jones. Which is one of my favorites because Last Crusade, well not only Last Crusade is my favorite Indiana Jones movie of all time. Uh, clear enough this figure is one of my favorites and I have been trying to get this for a very long time and now I finally have got my hands on it. So here we go with the package because this is the first thing we always do in reviews. Now the package may be a little torn up but this is how it is because these packages are old, 2008. So obviously enough like in every Indiana Jones figure... Especially for, well, single base figures, we got the Indiana Jones logo up there. And then we get Harrison Ford's lightness from Last Crusade. It includes Hidden Relic with Submachine Gun on that sticker. Indiana Jones Last Crusade with the bullwhip going up to the lightness. And at the back, you get the carrying this better. At the back, we see the Indiana Jones bio with the production photo of Last Crusade, Indiana Jones, and Harrison Ford up there at the top. And over here as well. And then we get other figures at the bottom with Last Crusade figures and only one which is from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And of course you got the same thing. So same si uh, like same package as usual with all the Indiana Jones figures. So if I ever get more in this single base, I wouldn't be going over much of it. And then the, inside the package there's two little book uh, two little booklets of him. One for the uh, ticket to uh ticket to adventure thing again which is already expiring and then the uh passport which is also uh the little figure collection uh, figure collection category thing you already know so that's it for the package so as usual with the indiana jones figure reviews i always get to in this point i reviewed the head sculpt hold on need autofocus okay that's better so autofocus is not working great okay now the likeness on indiana jones so far at this point looks actually pretty good but not actually Top notch like Temple of Doom in his head, or better yet, Temple of Doom in his head. He's the only one that looks like Harrison Ford. I don't know much, but this does look great. Especially do like the hat sculpt, obviously, because every Indiana Jones figure does have a great hat sculpting, like the Fedora hat to make it look right. You know, his beard kind of looks like the same color as Owen's beard or Owen Grady's beard. I'll be getting to that later in the first channel. And as we go down, we get the same details on his leather jacket, this time with a black tie, which hasn't been colored in fully, and it does have little paint dabs, like missing points on its shirt, but we won't get to that point. And in his hand, he's got his machine gun. I won't go any, any other accessory because this point, this is what he comes up with. I don't want to come up with any points, but he comes with this machine gun. And it's obviously the same one from the movie when he's escaping that building, saving his father by Sean, well, played by Sean Connery. And then we go down his holster, which is actually pretty enough for another great detailed holster. But this one actually looks a lot more detailed than uh, the other ones, like Temple of Doom's uh, look. And then he's got his coil of the bullwhip, which is obviously a repaint of the Temple of Doom one, or Crystal Skull one. And then we got a satchel bag, which is also a different color. With silver paint, you know, with silver paint on details, which is great. And what we to go down is the same thing, and his shoes are also detailed. It's the same Indiana Jones figure, mainly by legs and uh, overall sculpting on some of the figures. So yeah, same sculpting, but yeah, different head sculpt and different torso sculpt. And that's pretty much it. This figure not only comes with that machine gun and bullwhip accessories, but it also did come with a hidden relic, as every other Indiana Jones figure does contain. And it came with a thuggy medallion, I guess from Temple of Doom. I don't know if it's a thuggy medallion because they use that term a lot in Temple of Doom. And it's obviously kind of the same color as Indiana Jones's uh, hat and jacket. I don't know, that's just me. But this does look actually pretty neat. Now it's size comparison time, so we're gonna go over two other figures like Marion and Indy's father, Henry, Henry Jones Sr. And obviously enough, these two definitely look perfect together because apparently it's the Last Crusade and it's definitely tied in with the same line. And this one kind of does look fancy for Indy because apparently Marion has not seen Indiana Jones. Actually, yes, he did. It's in the Larry of the Lost Ark. He sees him with a tie at the end in the movie, obviously. So, yeah. And another size comparison between the idea. previous Indiana Jones figures I've viewed. One of them having to be a custom Indiana Jones and the other having to be... um the uh, temple trap Indiana Jones. 
Now, as far as I'm concerned, the Cairo Indy is still taller than the other Indies, and these two are just the same. One from Raiders and the other from Last Crusade. So, yeah, now that's pretty much it for that part. And head swapping with this figure can be a... Well, it's actually difficult, or better yet, actually very difficult because the head is very loose, or it can't really fit on most of the Indiana Jones figures that tried to, uh... <laughs> try to, you know, do the same thing with the head swapping, but head swapping doesn't really work usually as well as it does with the other figures. But anyways, now I'm finished with this Indiana Jones review, and I definitely do like this figure, so I'm going to be giving this, obviously enough, an 8 out of 10, or I guess a 9, in between 8 or 9, I don't know. Because this is, this and uh, Indiana Jones' father, great figures that I do really love, especially because it's from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, because that's one of my favorite Indiana Jones films. And this definitely is great due to the detail and also that tie, though. I really do like it when Indiana Jones doesn't have a tie. It makes him look a little bit like a cross, <laughs> like cross between James Bond or any you know, like an archaeologist. It's like he's well, this is only for a majority of Last Crusade in the middle of the movie when he's saving his father. So, anyways, that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So, see you guys later.